evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cashton, Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions. Well, we're ready to get this uh, JV basketball game underway here in a cold and blizzardy kind of weather. My goodness, it's just a little crazy out there, isn't it, folks? But if you're, uh, well, as my wife would say, all snuggled up and, uh, you know, in a good place at home, well, this is a great venue, I guess, thanks to the Cashton School District, the administration, and, of course, Jared Hammerspock and head coach Steve Hunsinger helping us out here tonight. Shot is up, and that's going to go in. That was uh, number 24 here for the uh, Hillsboro Tigers in uh, Kylie or Kylin Bankston. That's who that was. Right now it's back to the Eagles. They had missed their first opportunity. <coughs> Here's a drive. They'll dish the ball inside to Peeper. Back out top of the key with Schrader. Schrader goes over to her sister. Wide open look, just a little bit solid. <coughs> Excuse me, that is uh, off the mark there. That was 15 and Marley Schrader. Sarah Schrader nearly came up with the rebound. Harrellsboro going in, and I think we're going to get a travel. Yep, we are. Kind of got herself trapped in between some of the players there. That was uh, number 14. Now, I wonder <coughs> if that is the junior in, that's on the varsity in Christina Britsky. It could be, since there's no other 14 on the roster. They'll do that once in a while. You can play three, three halves a night. We're going to get a jump ball here. Hillsboro will bring the ball down the court and a 2 0 lead here at the 14 30 mark. Got started just a little bit early, which is probably a good thing. There's a save. Boy, nice, uh, nice try out there by number four in uh, <coughs> Elena Clark, who is a freshman. But when she flipped the ball up in the air, it went right into the hands of Cashton. Well, speaking of into the hands, it goes into the hands of Carmen Erickson. Number 10 is a sophomore. She picked off that ball rather easily. Good anticipation there. Back to 14, whether that's Britsky or not. Pass back up to the top of the key with Clark, who looks to be the little bit of a floor leader. Back inside it goes to her. She'll stop. A nice job defensively there by Marley Schrader. Down low. Coming back out, top of the key here in 44 in Alexis Downing. Another good save right into the hands of the Tigers. Shot is up, no good. That was 24 in Bankston. <laughs> Trying to get the shot to fall. Here's a three from downtown off the front of the rim. Schrader just a little bit short on that one. And a quick fast break and good job defensively. Peeper got back, there's a shot, no. Rebound, we're going to get a foul here. Coming up over the top on Erickson. Well, let's see if they're going to put the, they will not put the names, or in this case, I shouldn't say names, but the numbers up on the board, or are they? Now they will, okay. First team foul. And the foul was on Sarah Schrader. Baseline move and nice job there by number 22 in uh, for Cashton in Hyatt. Gaby Hyatt now in. Back up to the top it goes. Clark back to Downing. Or Erickson, I should say. Number 12 into the ball game now in Hayden Bone. There's a partial block. That was a nice job over there. 23 and Kate Wall with the block. High arcing shot up and good by Wall. Holy smokes. I tell you what, she has got a real nice touch. That shot just, uh, it was just like in slow motion. She has such a soft touch on that ball on the shot. <laughs> 
Here's an inside move. No. Rebound. Trying to put it back up. We're going to get a foul here now as Downing, number 44, winds up uh, being fouled here. Second team foul. <coughs> and let's take a look and see who uh, that's going to go against. It's going to go against Schrader again. That's number two. MidBeast TV and Appliance, the place to go in Cashton for your Samsung, LG, Frigidaire, and more with kitchen appliances. Watch the playoff games and regular season events with the best large screen TV selection, all from MidBeast TV and Appliance. Excellent, friendly, and knowledgeable service department as well. That's MidBeast, downtown Cashton. Morocco Booster Club supporting the many teams of Oroqua High School. The Booster Club works closely with coaches and administration to assist in many ways. Thank you to the Oroqua Booster Club, fans, parents, and alumni for their great financial and moral support over the course of all these years. Looking for a home in downtown Westby? Contact Carmen Fortune, your local New Directions real estate expert. Located at 410 East State Street, this home with a new roof and a 30 by 30 garage with 200 amp service. A garden shed is included as well and a huge backyard for your family. Contact Carmen today, 608-606-2497. Embroidery and more. For quality embroidery, sewing services, screen printing, and promotional products at reasonable rates. Be sure to stop in, see Greg Danes at their location, 210D Swigham Road in Westby. Get the job done right the first time. Best of luck to the Norsemen, Eagles, and Blackhawks throughout the year. Three two score as they missed the first. Second shot up and it's gonna be off to Marco. Got her own rebound. She's gonna go back to the line again. She's fouled the second time. And it's going to be uh, downing. She's 0 for two. Gonna try again here and see if she can't go to 500 here and take the lead for the Tigers. JV side. That shot, well, it hit the back of the rim and bounced off here to the left side. <laughs> Second shot, rims in and out, no good. And Hyatt there with the rebound. She'll hand the ball off. Schrader comes down here on the wing, goes inside on a nice pass. And going to the line here, the Eagles and that should be Kate Wall, I believe, or check that. No, it's going to be Christensen. I saw the 2-3, but it was 3-2. So Christensen will go to the line here. Or Sanders, I should say. Sanders. I'm all messed up. <laughs> Sanders to the line. Thinking back of a 32 and another name, another school. So Tessa Sanders... Going to get another shot here. That one bounces up and over. No good. Rebound pickup. And, uh, boy, almost a jump ball. No, they're going to rip it away here. And uh, that was uh, Riley Anderson. Here's a bounce pass out to the front. And hustling down is Clark to, to track it down. Spin move on the near side with Bone. She'll hand the ball off to Carnes. And we're going to get a jump ball. A nice uh, work in there by Aubrey Carenta. Sanders gets the ball down low and another pass. And we're going to go to uh, top of the key here. That was a high. She'll pass it across court. The shot no good by Carenta. <laughs> 
Hillsborough able to break any kind of uh, defense, we'll say. Kind of a soft uh, pressure. Now Hyatt with a nice reach in. Her pass going to be deflected, trying to get it to Wall and picking it off. Coming away with it is Erickson once again. Baseline, uh, check that uh, on that far sideline and just barely stepping out of bounds. Number 12 in Bone. Sanders back up to the top with Schrader out here on the right elbow. And we're going to get a foul. Well, they looked inbound here. Cashton Building Supply, and CBS Design. Be sure to stop in and see Kevin Kirking or Courtney Cousy for all your new building or renovation plans. It's your one stop to get everything you need when it comes to home, agricultural, or remodeling projects. Call 654-7871, Cashton Building Supply, and CBS Design. Looking for that down home fun? Stop in at Nordic Lanes in Westby. That's right, family fun throughout all of the Wisconsin seasons. Volleyball, softball going on now, and of course, league bowling coming up in the fall and winter months. It's all taking place at Nordic Lanes. Scott and Sue Sordahl invite you to stop in and enjoy the family time. All right, back we come, and it's going to be, there's a takeaway, and then they're going to give it right back. Cashin had the, uh, had the ball and turned it over. 3-2 the score yet here, though, with uh, 940 and counting here in the first half. There's an inside move, and a shot back up again. Second time, no good, and coming away with it is going to be Kate Wall. Corenta bounce pass to the far side and then right back to her from Kate up to the top of Schrader. Schrader taking a look. Lob pass down low, nobody there. I think she was looking for somebody to come out on that, uh, the weak side, I'll call it, but uh, nobody could get there. Hillsborough had everything kind of blocked off to say the least. Back up here to the top now. Shot is up. Oh, a pretty little running kind of half hook shot there by Bankston. Oh. 
Here's a drive. Schrader lays it up and in. And it's 5-4. Now well, they're opening up a little bit here, trying to get that ball to drop through the bucket. Sometimes that cylinder can be very unfriendly, I think you would call it. <laughs> well, tomorrow we'll be in, uh, be down to Russian Center. You can watch the Cash and Eagle Wrestling Squad along with Russian Center, obviously, is the host school, Riverdale, Ithaca Weston, Westby, some of the area teams that we'll be keeping an eye on. That ball a little bit short on the drive. Nice little drive there by Hooks. Just wound up uh, back into her hands here. Her shot up over the top, no. Almost like a pass, they'll kick it out. Shot up, no good. Rebound coming away here by Peeper, and she gets it to Wall right away. <laughs> Wall brings the uh, team down the court here and across the timeline. Corinta now out here on the wing. Thought about it for a moment was Wall. Again, with that good touch, you can't blame her for maybe thinking about that three. The shot up, no good. The rebound is Peeper, and she's fouled on the putback. Peeper's first shot up and a little bit uh, too strong on the back of the rim. Addison will get another try here, though. 5-4, your score, 7-27 to go. Some changes here by the Tigers. Autumn Stanick now in the ball game. That one is true to form, and now it's a 6-4 game. Under 7.5 to go. Now a spin move there, but short on the shot. Rebound, put back, and a foul from behind. Let's see if that's going to go on. Well, they say 32, which is uh, Sanders with the foul. Or is this the other 32? <laughs> Six five score. Here's a shot up and off the back. No good. Schrader with the rebound. She drives right back to the bucket. Her shot over the top. No. And trying to get to that rebound. That was uh, one of our younger players there, number 11, which we don't have on the roster. Unless that was, that's not Kate. Let me take a look here. Well, that might be Kate out there now. Where you get to play the halves, I could see that take place. Number five again, and Stanick with the ball, and we're going to get a five-second call here. Good defense by Corenta. Or did we get a timeout? Oh, we got a timeout. Still good defense there by Corenta. Everything said and done. Take a little timeout ourselves. 6-5 score. The Vastatag Funeral Home. Dedicated to serving area families in time of need. Caring, professional guidance, always a must. Contact Gina Sherry for reliable, compassionate care. The loss of the life of a loved one is always a stressful time. Turn to Vastatag Funeral Home. Westby and Viroqua. Cashton Farm Supply. Since 1984, Cashton Farm Supply has focused on organic feed, manufacturing, and distribution. Stop in, talk to Ernie or any of his team, and discuss the benefits of organic farming. Located on Highway 27, just outside of Cashton. Best of luck to our area teams.
Premier Co-op, serving members since 1893. Your corporate office located in Mount Hora. Other sites include Cashton, Lafarge, Richland Center, Baroqua, Eastman, and Westby. Best of luck to all the area teams throughout the season. And they wish all of you a happy and prosperous new year. Well, we return here and they were trying to get the ball in and pop back out of bounds here by the Cashton defense. Inside pass, oh, that was a beauty. Capitalizing on that was Alexis Downing. And it's 7-6, Hillsboro. We really uh, look forward to this uh, varsity game tonight. We're gonna see a couple of pretty good teams here. And uh, maybe, maybe the cream of the crop in the scenic bluffs in Hillsboro. There's a shot up, rebound, no. Right into the hands of uh, number 22 in Anderson. The Tigers uh, defeated Bangor earlier this week, I guess, by 22 points, according to Coach Steve Hunsinger. So Eagles are going to have the work cut out for him. Peeper comes out. Lisa's in. Good inbound. Back up to the top with Clark. Rolls to the right side. Now comes back up to the top here with Stanick. Stanick gets stopped momentarily, and there's a steal. Schrader coming away with it. Sarah with a quick reach, and now almost has it taken away by Clark. Gets the ball back. A little spin. Top of the key here. Inside pass, oh, a beautiful pass, and Hyatt will get the little layup. Nice uh, vision there. <laughs> Wall with the pass down low. That uh, shows some really, really nice vision. And she had a chance for the uh, shot herself, but that was, you know, that was going to be like a eight to ten footer and why not take the two footer <laughs> or less underneath right and that's what she did wall back out to the top here with tessa sanders back to hyatt on that far wing skip pass over here to schrader sarah looks to drive she'll put the ball up and in wow a quick release and that one just got over the top and dropped through and it's 10-7 now at the 4.30 mark. Cashton in the lead. Three-point advantage. Oh, just got away with a the travel there. <laughs> that was close. Here's a drive, a shot. Oh, we're going to get a foul. All of a sudden, that ball took off another direction quickly. Two shot foul, that is gonna go against uh, Schrader. Uh, check that, let's take a look here. Number 23 and Kate Wall, that's number two on her. Kate comes out of the ball game. Shot no good, and coming away with it was uh, Kate Lees back up to the top. Here's Schrader. Wanted to drive, but uh, Carnes was there to stop. Now we're going to get a foul, a little reach in. Here's a drive by Corenta, and she'll come back out to Schrader, who goes into the lane. Her shot is up. Oh, a little strong. Excellent move. We're going to get a jump ball situation here. Lee and Schrader both locking onto the ball there with uh, number 12 in bone.
Here's a little pass underneath. Oh, just short armed at a tad. And now down to the ground goes Downing. But the jump ball and this time favors the Tigers. And with 3.36 to go here in the half, 10-7 ball game, once again. Federal Mutual Insurance, the Kevin Blusky Agency. Stop in and see Kevin for all of your farm business insurance needs. Your Wisconsin-based insurance company that keeps your money in the state. Home, condo, personal insurance coverage as well. All from your local Rural Mutual Insurance agents. Your leader in the farm coverage business is Kevin Blusky Agency, Rural Mutual Insurance. Goddard DeSoto Ferryville. It's not hard to figure out where Riverbank got its name. Those three communities are where Riverbank started. Now that Riverbank has grown to serve communities in Bangor, Berry Mills, Coon Valley, Holman, La Crosse, Sparta, Toma, and Westby, the same close community spirit that brought us together is still there. Friendly, personal service, understanding the customer's needs, and going the extra distance in providing service. Riverbank, local banking made simple. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. When you think of a co-op, farms may come to mind, but it's the people that make a cooperative thrive. At the Chase Bird Co-op, that means everyone who's involved. Those who work there, members who do business, even customers passing through for anything from gas to tires. It's local. It's people coming together, community-wide and beyond. You don't have to be a member of the Chase Bird Co-op to do business with them, but it sure has its perks, and it's free. Ask how you can become a member the Chase Bird Co-op, your locally owned co-op. Back down the court we go. Tigers looking to maybe tie the ball game up. We'll see. Inside pass. The shot is up too strong. Rebound coming away on that far side by Downing. She quickly gets tied up. Corenta. Oh, they're going to get Corenta for the foul now. A good aggressive play. The ball was right out there, but she came across the arm as she as she grabbed it. Well, a wholesale change here now for the Eagles. Lease Peeper Wall, Marley Schrader, and Corenta, who stays into the ball game. Driving down low and then kicking it back out to the top here. That might have been Britsky. Back over here, <laughs> on the wing with Bone. Down low, Downing shot up and in. Used the board nicely to get the two. And here's a near steal once again. And we're gonna get a jump ball. That one should stay with Cashton. Erickson causing some problems there defensively. Heads up play. Here's Corenta coming down this near sideline. She's going to stop, try to pop, and it's short. Nice save. Oh, she was out of bounds when she touched it. She got up and she, she left the floor out of bounds. Tough break there, but good try by Kay Wall. She was up in the air hanging and popped the ball back in, but unfortunately, it's a turnover. Down low. Uh, that is going to be... Number four, once again, at Clark. Back up the top here, Downing. Hands off to Bankston. If I remember right, Bankston hit the first bucket of the ball game and been quiet ever since. Erickson with the shot and that ricocheted off and here comes Cashton. Schrader wheeling around, hand off, shot up and good for Kate Wall. Yeah, she just had a little four-footer there and again with that soft touch, snapped it through. That's gonna go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tigers. Might have dribbled it off the foot of one of the defenders. <laughs> Downing comes out of the ball game and Anderson will re-enter. They get the ball in, out to Erickson. 
Schrader comes up quickly to guard her. Here's Bengston stopping, looking for help, goes inside and bounce pass up high and right, right over the top of Anderson. She didn't really get a good look at it. Wall will inbound now. Lob pass out here to Peeper. She'll get across the timeline. Looks to challenge. We're going to get a turnover here. She carried the ball. He knew what she wanted to do, but unfortunately just couldn't control that dribble the way she would have hoped. Down to a minute 15 here in the half. Bone turns, hands back off Anderson, back to Bone. Back to the top of the key with Bingston. Over to Erickson. And on the far side, it goes. Here's a shot up. We're going to get a foul on uh, Kaylees. Again, the Tigers moving the ball pretty well over there. And Clark with that bounce pass inside really uh, created some problems. Shot is up and good here for Bingston. 12-10 year score. She can get the Tigers to within one. And she did. Good looking shot there. Down here on the near wing, it's going to be Kate Wall. Bounce pass back out the top. It goes. Shot up. Too strong. Wall coming away with it. Trying to get the ball over here to Schrader. And it went off her hand. Pass just off the fingertips there. Wall was in the land of the Giants, so to speak, and she needed to get the ball out from where she was at. Here's a little give and go, and Corenta with the foul. Corenta with the foul, and that puts the uh, Tigers in line to even take the lead here with 35 seconds remaining. First one to tie, no good. Now they'll look to tie. Shot is up, too strong. Clark missed both, and that ball tipped around and falls into the hands of Kate Wall. On the wing, Schrader, baseline, comes back out to the top. Wall looking for somebody to move. She'll now go herself, takes the drive, and she hit it. She went on the baseline and used her body, kind of a little semi-hook. One-handed shot that worked. Here's a defense. Good work there by Peeper on the defensive side. Schrader can't put it up. Good try there, but it's Cashton with the lead here at 14 to 11. Well, we'll take a break. Halftime here. They'll put five minutes on the board, and we'll come back with the second half. Cashton out in front, 14-11. Main Street Designs. If you're in need for a cut, color, or highlight, be sure to contact Leah Kroom. Main Street Designs may be just what you're looking for. Conveniently located in the heart of Westby. 116 South Main Street. Give Leah a call today, 634-3201, and set up your appointment. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Centers. With medical, dental, behavioral health, chiropractic, acupuncture, and pharmacy services. They support all of your health care needs under one roof. Scenic Bluffs offering a sliding fee scale program to make high quality care more affordable. Schedule an appointment today, 654-5100. We return here to Cashton, where the Eagles have a three-point lead, 14-11 here, as we begin second half. Out on the top here, they'll go with the number three in Carnes. That coming off from an earlier pass. Here's a wide open look to shot off to the right, no good. Kylie Anderson 
Cashton will try. That was no good by Schrader. Walking the ball across the timeline here. Bone comes back over here to Carnes. Back to Bone. They'll survey the field here over on that far wing. Anderson, number 34, now with the ball. She'll do the bounce pass. Back to Anderson, it comes. And she returns the favor to uh, Kylie Anderson. Kylie Anderson and Rayleigh Anderson. Just by the way they spell the names and that, I would imagine they're twins. They're awfully close on the spelling. Here's a takeaway. Good defense by Esther Nilden. Carnes stops, puts it back over on the far side. Here's a baseline dribble, and can they get the ball up? They do, but it's short. Good rebound on the own, own miss. And now on the drive, that's Anderson. She's going to be fouled, and the bucket's going to count. The foul here is going to go against uh, 24 and Peeper. That's her first. Anderson shot off the front of the rim, no good, and Kate Wall tracks the ball down. Back over across the timeline to Schrader. Schrader takes a look, now dribbles. Left side, her layup is up and good. Nice aggressive move there for Sarah Schrader. Open look and left alone was Downing. She was able to hit that. Erickson nearly got a steal. Schrader quickly down the court. Over here to Peeper. Her shot is up and good for three. Out of nowhere there. <laughs> she just uh, set up and popped it. Nice job there by Addison and back to a three-point advantage after the Tigers had tied it up. Here comes Erickson on the drive. We're going to get a foul here. They're going to say the foul was on the floor, not in the act of shooting. Hyatt comes in along with Sanders. Over to Downing, back up top of the key here. Nice pass down low, but Downing could not hang on to it. But uh, Clark had a real good look on the pass. Here's another three. That one is short. Rebound putback is good for Hyatt. Like a, almost like a pass, right? <laughs> now the ball is going to roll out of bounds, and it's going to come back to Cashton. Schrader gets across the timeline. That ball dribbled off the foot of Sanders. Twenty fifteen year score at the 13 minute mark. Cashton holding on to that advantage so far. Here's a steal. All alone. The layup is good by Schrader. Well, I tell you what, Marley just picked the pocket of that Tiger defense. And now a seven point advantage. Erickson spin move back to the top here and then into the ball game number 20 and hooks. Here's a shot up, no rebound, bouncing around. Schrader nearly got it, then it goes into the hands of Peeper. Back to <laughs> Schrader. Over to Kay Wall. She's uh, blocked off, comes back up the top. Schrader for three, no good. And Clark comes away with it. Near steal, did it go off the hands of Erickson? No. 
It was off Hyatt. Clark's going to come out of the ball game. And I think it was 14, and we guess Britsky, that's what I'm going to guess, comes in. Here's Wall with the rock after the turnover. Again, the defense playing pretty well here for Cashton. Back up to Sanders. Now, Peeper thought about the three. Cashin will take some time off the clock, moving the ball around. Pass up to Addison. She'll skip it down low to Hyatt. Hyatt back up to the top here, working some time off the clock and a 22-15 lead. We're at the 11.30 mark of the ball game. JV side, varsity to follow somewhere around that 7.15 time, give or take. A lot of it depends on how this game kind of does uh, finalize, we'll say. I would imagine they're going to want to start the uh, game as soon as possible just because of the way the weather was out there. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Shot by Schrader is off the mark. Again, wholesale change this time for the Eagles, Lease, Hyatt, Schrader. Down low, Corenta. That one's going to drop. And uh, let's see, Sarah Schrader in the game now. Erickson back up the top here. Back to Erickson. We're going to go down low to Anderson. We're going to get a foul here. Hyatt. Looking for that block. Got more arm, I guess. And they're going to say it was active shooting. I guess so. Probably so. Shot is up and good by Anderson. The Westby Co-op Credit Union. For nearly 80 years, helping individuals and businesses meet their goals through financial support. When it comes to farm loans, home mortgages, car loans, line of credit, and much more. The place to turn to, WCCU. Absolutely, I would go to Sealand's flooring again. The service was great. Hi, Mom. Can we have a mud pole fight in the house? Oh, what? Thanks, Mom. Money, guys. <laughs> that all reminds me. Sealand's carries the best products, too. The leading is a breeze. Heads up, Mom. Sealand's flooring, carpeting, hardwood, and tile in Coon Valley, where the number one priority is you. Basically, if you could step on it, Sealand sells it. We had a great mud puddle in the living room. Oh. Culver's of Aroqua. That's where you can get a great tasting butter burger or crank it up a notch. It's the deluxe burger right here in Aroqua where food is grown, not made. Home of the concrete mixer. Culver's hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. And remember, they offer a flavor of the day each and every day. Rayleigh coming up with her second now. That one a little strong. Lane violation. And that'll be a turnover. Back to cash and they come. Lease taking a look. Drives to the right. 
goes to Hyatt. Hyatt comes back up to the top here with Sarah Schrader. Schrader to Corenta. Now Marley kicks it back over on this near wing. Drive by Lease out to Corenta. Corenta is not afraid to shoot a three. We've seen that uh, in the first half. Now a turnover here, the defense. This is Bengston with the ball. Down low, boy, left alone was Clark, and she missed that one. Got a rebound, no. Battling, that's Hyatt. KB Hyatt coming through on that one defensively. Here's Corenta as we're down to the 940 mark of the ball game. Cashton supporting that seven point lead. Oh, a quick pass down low and that was a baseball pass. A little bit upstairs if you're a pitcher. <laughs> Corenta just could not hang on to that one. Well, let's take a look here. The changes. Sanders back into the ball game. You got Sanders, Peeper, Wall, Corenta, and Sarah Schrader. Those are your five out here on the floor right now. Ball, ooh, nearly taken away here. Kate Wall had uh, pretty, pretty good sights on that one, but her momentum actually took her past the ball. Here's the inside move. That's no good. That was uh, Nilden, I believe. Uh, that's who it was in Esther. Quick pass down the court. Tipped by Nilden. Wall gets it inside. Oh, there's a nice block by Erickson. Uh, those, uh, she's got some length to her, folks, and she got those long arms up and was able to tip it away. Shot no good. Wall comes down with it, and then she can bring the ball down the court as well. That's always a double trouble. Over to Schrader. Sarah will slow things down. Corenta looking inside. She's going to drive. We got a hold here. I think hanging on was uh, Lauren Hooks, freshman. Clark comes back in. She comes in for Nilden. They do get the ball in to Schrader. Britsky was guarding her. Here comes uh, Addison. Peeper overlaid that one, shot back up again. I'm not sure who that was. I'm, I'm thinking it was Kate Wall. Erickson, a couple of spin, looking for some help. Now gets it over here to Carnes. Carnes goes down low, and we're going to get a foul on Peeper, I would imagine. Sweet Valley Artisan and Valley Fudge and Candy. Sweet Valley Artisan invites you to stop in. Browse the 9,000 square feet of Artisan Mall located right in the heart of Coon Valley. And when you're done there, in the back of the mall, Valley Fudge and Candy where old-fashioned quality meets today's fresh new flavors. Handcrafting over 75 flavors of fudge just for you. To rent me an electric car? Yes. What if I want to go to Reedstown? Then you just turn left. What if I want to go to California? Then you just go west. Hmm. It's just a car. For quality service after the sale, it's Sleepy Hollow in Viroqua with a collision center, detail center, and 24-hour towing. Levon and the gang are there to serve you. There are a lot of good reasons to shop the Westby Cooperative Creamery Cheese Store in Westby. Try the all-new sour cream pouch 
filled with fresh, all-natural sour cream that makes serving a whole lot easier. Just squeeze to put the finishing touches on any meal with no mess. Squeeze on tacos, chili, baked potatoes, you name it. Store it in your fridge for any time or bring it along on camping trips and picnics. Squeezable sour cream pouches are convenient farm-to-table country goodness from Westby Co-op Creamery. Boone Valley Telecommunications, located in the heart of Coon Valley. Coon Valley Telecommunications brings high-speed internet, HD television, and crisp phone service to the Coon Valley, Stoddard, and Chaseburg communities. Bringing fiber to the valley, that's the motto with Coon Valley Telecommunications. Give them a call, 608-452-3101. Number two on Addison at the 8-16 mark. Shot is up and good for Downing. Downing hits the second. 23-18. Well, it's turning out to be a ball game now. Sanders will throw that one up, just missed. Rebound put back up and in. That was Sarah Schrader right there at the right time. Back to the seven point lead. Clark gets the ball down court. Oh, nice inside pass and that's up and in. Carnes left alone, She or Stanek, excuse me, number five. Able to make that one without too much trouble. Schrader slowing things down. Goes to Carenta, who spins to the far side. Tries to go down the lane, and she's going to be fouled. I think it was. It was number four on the hold in Clark. Neither uh, team in much foul trouble, though Clark has three fouls for the Tigers individually. She has all, all three uh, here in the second half, maybe? I'm not 100% on that. Shot is up, no good, back of the rim, and coming away with it once again was Bone. Quick handoff to Erickson, down here to Clark. Clark on the move, cross the, the lane, back to Clark. Baseline move, kicks it out. Shot is up, no good, and the ball tipped away by Schrader. Pretty good effort in there. And again, you take a look at Bone, who is, she hasn't played a whole lot in that first half, but she's played a lot here in the second half. Very active. Shot is up and good for Clark. Schrader goes the distance. Oh, it kicked out. My goodness. We're going to get a jump ball here. Kate Lease playing heads up. Kind of left the ball hanging out there a little bit. Bone didn't really uh, try to protect it. Turnaround shot, a little strong by Marley Schrader. But again, it was a great look. Erickson coming down the court, far side pass. Cross court it goes to Bone. Stanick comes back up here to the top with Clark. I'm surprised that Schrader didn't go after that one. Downing back to Erickson who comes out here to Stanick once again. Shot is up and banked it in. That was Bone with the two. We uh, are hitting the six minute mark of the ball game. There's a nice block by Bone. Coming away with it. Oh, nice job was uh, Schrader and she'll put it up and in. Tough play right there. We're at 550 here in the game and it's a 27-24 ball game. Boy, all of a sudden that lead can disappear in a hurry, can't it? Peeper, Sanders, and Wall back into the game. 
Corenta, Lease, and Hyatt taking a little bit of a break. That bounce pass taken care of by Cashton and Marley gets down the court in a hurry. Back up here to Sarah over here on the wing. Here's Kate Wall for a two, little strong. Weak side off uh, Sanders' hands and right into the grasp of Downing. Near Steele, they tip it away in Schrader, but Bankston able to relocate it, and now her pass goes astray as she tried to fire it down low. We're going to get a timeout here now at the 5-11 mark. 27-24, cashed. What is it that makes you powerful? Having a voice. When you're part of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your voice is heard loud and clear. Because you're more than a customer. You're a member. Most important, you're connected to all the other members in our community, to your hometown electric co-op, and to the people who've been there for you year after year. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. ADRC of Vernon County, supporting elderly and the disabled. 402 Courthouse Square. The ADRC of Vernon County is looking for volunteer drivers in Hillsboro, Lafarge, and Ontario. Help transport your neighbors to medical appointments or for daily errands. Mileage reimbursement is available. Call Vernon County's Aging and Disability Resource Center today. Vernon Communications Cooperative has connected their members to the latest technology for 70 years. Whether it be phone, internet, streaming, or digital video, they are your reliable and secure connection to communication. VC Co-op provides a superior fiber optic network to serve their members with world-class technology and unrivaled local service. Well, as we come back and uh, tell you what, 27-26 now as the Tigers putting on some uh, full court press here. They get, the, they get the turnover and they pick up the bucket. And just like that, another timeout. They want to take a look here and get ready for more of that tough D by the Tigers. Vernon Manor Healthcare Center, located just outside of Viroqua, a county-owned long-term care and rehabilitation facility. Be sure to call Amanda Huff or any of her crew at 637-5400 and find out why you are treated like family at Vernon Manor Healthcare Center. Outstanding insurance products, ranging from life, car, ATV, farm and ranch, condo, renters, motorcycle, and snowmobile insurance coverage, just to name a few of the many coverages that you can find with the Miranda Wright Agency. That's your American Family Insurance. The Daily Brew Company, Westby's newest business. Stop in for terrific coffee and mouth-watering sandwiches each and every day. Located at 100 Washington Street. Call ahead, 634-4001. It's family owned. The Olaroots and Cades invite you to stop in. Back and now Cashin on a bit of a fast break. Here's Schrader, she'll lay it up. Boy, I tell you what. Well, that's one way to break the press is to run right by him. <laughs> and she she certainly did at that. Three-point advantage. Here's another steal. Here comes Schrader again. She would like to lay that one up, but it's blocked by Erickson. Coming out of the ball game is Carnes 
Britsky enters. You got Britsky, Bone, Erickson, Bankston, and Anderson for the Tigers. Here's Sanders. Over the far side, it goes to Schrader. Schrader with the bounce pass to her sister, Sarah to Marley. Marley on the drive. She's going to stop. Over to Wall. Wall getting through the defense and then lost the handle. And now a hold here, a foul on Kate Wall. That might be number three, if I remember right. And it is. Fifth team foul here. Approaching four minutes now in the ball game. Britsky with the ball. Kicking it back out to Bankston. Oh, boy, she almost traveled there. Bounce pass inside. Nice little job on that one, but off the top of the uh, backboard. Three forty-seven remaining in the ball game. Bounce pass picked off. Britsky back to the top with Erickson. Comes over here on the wing. This is for the tie. No good. A save. Great save there by Lease, but no teammate nearby. Instead, it was Anderson for the Tigers. Bankston on the spin, and she's going to get fouled. That's probably going to go against Corenta. Tough break right there, and now chance to get within a couple with the clock stopped at 327. Got the first, rattled that one home. Second one, boy, I tell you what, uh, Bankston was pretty cool on that. No hesitation. Here's Wall looking to inbound. And a steal, that is going to be Anderson with the tip. That bounced the ball around, and now Bankston comes away with it. Into Erickson, her shot is up, rolls around, no. Rebound coming away here. That was uh, Peeper, she gets it to Hyatt. Hyatt going down that far sideline. She'll slow things down now and come back up to the top here with Schrader and Schrader. Bounce pass. Peeper, she'll stop. Try to pop this one. That's short. Trying to come up with the rebound. Got the rebound was Hyatt. And she wanted to go with an underhand uh, layup here. Kind of reverse layup. And she gets fouled. 2.55 to go. Shot is a little strong on the back of the rim. Anderson comes out. Clark comes back in. That shot back the rim. No. Peeper with the rebound put back. That was short. Right into the hands of Bankston. And now coming away with it was Hyatt. Skip pass to the far side with Wall, nearly lost it, recovered. Oh, tip right back into her hands. She tries to get it to Schrader, able to do so. Back to Marley, Marley on the drive, left alone. There's a block and a foul. Clark with the foul. Trying to come up with that uh, defensive stop there. Thirty twenty eight. 28 your score. That one got through. Clark with the inbound to Erickson at the two and a half minute mark. Again, up by three. We're going to get a foul here now. 
And that will put the Tigers on the line here. That should be foul number seven on Cashton. It is. So Clark to the line. Long little, I would say kind of a long rebound here. Now a three on the way, no good. Coming away with it was high, but she just reached up and grabbed it. And then her pass, outlet pass to Wall, just a little bit too high, and Kate couldn't track it down. Two thirteen to go, 31-28. Britsky gets the inbound pass. And a timeout, Tigers. A full timeout, that's a whole minute. We'll take a little break. As you can see, 2.08 remaining in the ball game. The Bank of Cashin hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. Be sure to call Scott Wall, 654-5121 for all of your banking and investment needs. Now located at 724 Front Street, a new modern bank Yet the same, know your neighbor attitude. The Bank of Cashton. Eagle Title Company. Located on the north side of Coon Valley, 95 Central Avenue. Be sure to stop in and talk to Lori Holte regarding the five things not to do during your new property closing. Peace of mind and solid protection for you, the consumer, during your new purchase. Lori Holte, working only in Vernon, Monroe, and La Crosse Counties to serve you. Vernon Memorial Healthcare offers a five-star patient experience. Don't just take their word for it. The VMH five-star patient experience rating is from Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. VMH has received this rating for 16 years in a row. Everyone at BMH committed to making your visit a five-star patient experience. Here's the inbound now. Tigers with a chance to tie. They're gonna go for the two, that's all a little bit short. Nice rebound, the put back, partially blocked in there. And a jump ball, boy, I tell you what, Schrader, good job on her part. She grabbed that ball. She was actually able to pull Anderson back into play. She was heading out of bounds, but neither, neither one was going to let go. Here's Anderson trying to get it back to the outside. Lease was there. Skip pass to Erickson. Back out here on the right elbow. High shot, no good. Rebound right into the hands of the Tigers. Erickson thought about it. Back up to the top with Bone. Bone back out to Erickson, who's got a running start. She's going to drive in the shot. No. Schrader, we got a three on one. She'll slow things down just to make sure. Burn some time off the clock as well. Inside, that's Hyatt. Shot, no. Rebound into Lisa's hands, and she's going to be fouled here. Lisa will go to the line. She banked that one in. And she banked the second one in. It had to roll around a little bit on top of that. A bank wasn't quite enough. Keep everybody in suspense. <laughs> 105 to go in the game here and a five point advantage now. Cashton. Bone on the drive. Lease was there defensively. Now Erickson. Jab step comes back. The shot is up and in. Under a minute now. We're at 50 seconds and counting. Here's Schrader. Ball nearly taken away. They'll get it over here to Sarah. Down low, wall. Back to Sarah. They can run the clock off here a little bit. 
force the uh, Tigers to foul. That's what you would expect anyways. There's a foul. Going to have to do it again real quick here. We're under 30 seconds, down to 28. Oh, they, that was the, okay. I probably looked a little too quick. They say it is the seventh team foul, but it is foul number five on Clark. She's going to have to come out of the ball game. Carnes re-enters for her. That shot too strong, the rebound coming away here. Who's gonna get it? A jump ball situation. And whoa, they're gonna be uh, staying with Cashton. Well, good hustle there by Schrader. And that could save, uh, saves a possession here. And if you can run some time off, get fouled, maybe get a bucket or two here, right? High arcing shot, that's taken away. That was a tough one. Here's Erickson, shot is up and good. And it's a one point ball game. Quick pass to Schrader. She's going to be fouled from behind. 14 seconds remaining here, 33 32. Cashton out in front here, and they're hanging on for dear life. Schrader once again to have the opportunity here. It is going to be too strong. Oh, there's a high with a takeaway shot. No, burned a lot of time. There's the defense, and why? Uh, I tell you what, Kate Wall tipped that one away from Britsky, and you got just under five seconds to go here, and a timeout. <laughs> Four point eight seconds. Here we go. This will be a fun one. It's going to be a win or a loss, I would imagine, no matter what here, as long as you don't foul, right? The VFW of Viroqua, on the south side, supporting and honoring many veterans in the area. The Viroqua VFW lends itself to welcoming veterans of all ages to their post. Remember, no one does more for veterans than the VFW. Thank you to those who have served our great country and to those servicemen and women that are doing so currently. Cade Clearing, fully insured for your protection. Call for a free estimate today when it comes to tree removal. Contact Brett, 608-615-0827 or Riley at 608-632-3678. When it comes to clearing out old tree stumps or taking down hazardous trees, Cade Clearing, the place to go. Effinger's Equipment Sales and Service, 800 North Main in Viroqua. Be sure to give Mark a call at 637-7594. Stop in and take a look at all of those zero-turn lawnmowers that are ready for you. The grass is growing. And that's the best way to take care of business. It's Effinger's Equipment, Sales and Service. Wishing all the best to the area teams. Big thing right now is play tough D, but do not foul. Here's a pass down low to Anderson. She's going to look for a turn. Her shot is up. No. Wow, that was close. 33-32 is your final score here. As the Cash and JV, and they hang on to pick up the win here by that one point margin, 33 32. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed watching this Western Wisconsin video production of Cash and JV basketball as they come away with the win over the Hillsboro Tigers. Stay tuned with uh, varsity action coming up here. They usually uh, they get like 15 minutes for the warm up once they blow the whistle. And I would imagine that that'll be coming up here. Uh,